In uh, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the shape of the text in InDesign. So I'm just going to click on this Eclipse here. Hold Shift so you can lock in. Now if I click on this Type tool, and now you see that it's changing from square, it's turning into a circle. And if I click here, now I'll add, a I'll add a text inside this circle and I can go to type and fill with placeholder text. And now I have this here, I can go to content, but I can't change it. And now I have this text inside here inside this circle. Now you can also let's say maybe we grab again um, this uh, circle here but we click on this pad here and we can remove one maybe but why not we also add some text here type we have some text here. Now we click on drag selection or use the shortcut A. We can grab from here and now let's say I'll just uh, use this one here and I'll edit this. So I have a customized custom shape. And maybe you can also, sorry, here select this. And now I hold can create another one for this one. Can I hold? Can click here and add another path. Can select this. Let's say, sorry. Hold Alt. So you can basically customize this even more. Another thing that you can do, you can go to File, and here I'm gonna add this here. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm uh, gonna go to Object. And here we're gonna have to let's actually go to first to clipping mask and here can decrease these. Only one here. We do need preview. Can click OK now. Can click on object now. And here let's convert clipping pad to frame. And now after we converted this to a frame. Now press on your keyboard control plus X to remove. So we only have the pad and then here let's so hmm. 
Hmm. I hope this will work the way I want. Okay, now let's convert clipping pad to frame. Now let's press Command plus X because we want to, to cut the image at this point. Now we're going to have to go to selection, object, and here select this object and then here select just text. All right. Now we're going to have to go to view, sorry, window, text, warp, click on this and increase this, but also click on invert. And this is helpful because we're going to increase the top offset. I like this quite more. And now I'm just going to, let's move this here. Add some text, right click, place text. Now if I move this here, look at this nice effect. I really like this, so I hope you learn something. Also, a great tip in uh, in design is to go to, uh, because when you start, probably these holders here are quite small and uh, a way to fix this, let's go to preferences and in general and I think it's in here user interface scaling increase your interface UI sizing and also um, the anchor point handle and boundary box display size if it's small for you make it large it can really help you to grab all these anchor points holders very very fast so this can help you so yeah, I think it's a very helpful tip. If you don't want to see the this uh, lines, um, just press on uh, W. This will actually hide them. When you see your end result, in this scenario, it's quite good to use the shortcut W. Now another tip I learned in Illustrator is. You go to rectangle or sorry actually the frame rectangle and you hold and use the arrows up and down and left and right you can add frames equal size you hold shift if you want to lock in and now voila also use the shortcut control plus d so you can add images much faster click on time so this can really save you some time, you know, can really save this time. But just remember to hold down the button, you know, when you track, but now keep holding down and then you can add. So it's very important to keep the mouse held down because I was frustrated why it wasn't working for me. I was like, then trying to use the arrow and it doesn't work, you know.